In this short video, I'm going to create a little presentation in Tome just to demonstrate how it works. So I'm starting out by creating a presentation about something. So I'm giving it a little command using the command K instant menu. And I'm going to ask it to create a presentation about the future of kites and innovation in kite making. And it's going to generate a few slides for me, and then I can decide what to do with those slides and add my own slides. So you can see here it's given a few slides already, and it's creating images for those as well. And it creates eight slides to get you going. It gives you a title. You can edit any of this, right? So I can change this. I can reformat it if I want to. It works like other programs you're familiar with in terms of changing the styles here. I can also do something where I give it a, an AI edit option to rewrite or adjust the tone, etc. I can change the formatting more broadly over here using this palette on the right-hand side. I can also use this right-hand side menu to change the overall theme from, let's say, a dark theme to a light theme or an ocean theme or, in this case, a cream theme or whatever I want. Neptune is one of them and a couple of other options. So I'm going to go back to this dark theme we started with. And I can take any one of these slides and I can say that I want to change the image or change the text. I'm going to ask it to rewrite this text, for example. So AI, rewrite. And I'm going to adjust the tone, actually, and make this more, more friendly. And it's going to take that text and come in and give me a little bit more of a friendly tone here. I can also plug in my own slide. So I'm going to go in here and add a new slide. In this case, I'm going to make it an image slide. And actually, what I'm going to focus on is adding a video. I can now give it a, an, a YouTube link. I can either upload a video from my desktop, or I can just plug in a link. In fact, if I go back here, I'm going to delete this and also delete this item. And if I go back here, I can just go in here and give it a link. I'm going to paste the web link in. And now it's got the YouTube link. And I'm going to actually stretch it out so it shows full screen. So now, and I don't even need this heading block, I'm going to be able to remove that. I'll delete that. And now if we go back and we play through, then we can turn on the play button here. And now we're playing through this. And you see here it's generated an AI image. And now it's got the video. And Kites were the first objects created by humans. That and I can continue playing through this presentation. When I'm done with it, and I can continue making edits, when I'm done, I can share it just as I would any other presentation tool. I can share a link to it. I can export to PDF if I have the Pro account. And I can duplicate it if I want to create a different version of it. So I'm going to close out of that and just show a couple of other things. When I go in here to the Plus menu, I can choose any of these different types of layouts. And then I can say, this is a demo slide about whatever, about the features I can add to a Tome slide. And now I can go in here and add more of these kind of blocks. So I can add a, a Giphy block, which will allow me to paste in a GIF. And I can paste in a link there or search for a Giphy that, GIF that's relevant. I can use any of these other kinds of tiles. I can put in a tweet. I can put in a Figma image or a project, Airtable project. I can even have it create an image and give it a prompt. So let's give it a futuristic kite with a photo realistic rendering and ask it to generate something. It'll give me a couple of options, and I can pick from one of these options. So I can incorporate AI into the presentation as I go where it's relevant by rewriting something, having it rewrite something. That's a cool futuristic. That one's pretty cool too, but I like this one, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to now delete this slide. And so I can use it in a kind of interesting way. I can also just drop in a, an additional element and then move this element around. If I want to move this table down below this image, I can have a table below here with various different types of t information about kites, for example. And I can change the arrangement of this table. And then below that, I could put something else. I could put yet another element below that. So you're not limited by the normal canvas of a presentation tool like PowerPoint or Google Slides. You can create these long pages with a bunch of different kinds of material. 
Tome is a nice new alternative to to uh, to Google Slides and to PowerPoint. And again, if we pick this Command K menu open again, we can do all this just from the keyboard. We can create a new presentation. We can rename the Tome. We can copy a link to the Tome to send to somebody. We can record a narration so that there's a video associated with each slide. We can change the theme, and then we can add all these elements. There are some limitations. It doesn't yet allow me to upload images from Unsplash and other kinds of image sources for Creative Commons images. And I find the text too small for my taste on slides like this. I'd rather have less text and larger image, a more prominent imagery relative to the size of the text. Prominent text and prominent images rather than small font sizes. So that would be my preference. You can change that so I can go in here and adjust the size of the text, make it more heading style text, et cetera. But the default for the AI is to have a pretty small text. So that's a quick summary of Tome and an example of how I created a quick AI-driven new presentation. It's also useful for creating your own slides from scratch without any AI, but the AI feature is new and interesting and one of the features that I find useful about Tome.